What if the universe is not ultimately made of matter, energy, or empty space, but of mind? What if the stars, galaxies, and even the laws of physics are, at their deepest level, expressions of a single, infinite consciousness? This radical idea was proposed by Sir Arthur Eddington, one of the 20th century's most influential astrophysicists, who helped confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity and revolutionized our understanding of space and time. While Eddington was a leading figure in modern physics, he believed that science, at its deepest level, points toward something profound, that consciousness, not matter, is primary, and that the universe itself may be thought, unfolding in the mind of the One. In this video, we'll explore Eddington's groundbreaking science, his mystical vision of reality, and why he believed that understanding the cosmos ultimately requires understanding ourselves. Arthur Stanley Eddington was born in 1882 in Kendall, England, and became one of the most brilliant astrophysicists of his generation. Educated at Cambridge, Eddington was drawn to the mysteries of the cosmos, focusing on stellar structure, radiation, and the deep relationship between mathematics and the physical universe. But his most famous contribution came in 1919, when he led the solar eclipse expedition that confirmed Einstein's prediction that massive objects bend space-time, causing starlight to curve around the sun. This made Eddington an international figure and established relativity as a cornerstone of modern physics. Yet beyond his scientific achievements, Eddington was a philosopher of science, concerned not just with equations, but with the meaning behind them. He questioned whether physics could ever fully describe the reality it seeks to measure, and came to believe that the universe cannot be understood purely in material terms, because at the heart of it all lies consciousness. In the early 20th century, physics underwent a revolution. Relativity redefined space and time, and quantum mechanics shattered the notion of a predictable, deterministic universe. Eddington stood at the center of these discoveries, but instead of seeing them as merely mechanical, he believed they revealed the limits of a purely materialist worldview. As physics probed deeper into matter, it discovered that atoms, once thought to be solid, indivisible particles, are mostly empty space, patterns of energy and probability rather than hard substance. To Eddington, this implied that matter is not the ultimate foundation of reality, but something more elusive, an appearance arising from a deeper principle. He argued that the mind-like structure of mathematics, the language through which we describe the universe, reflects the mind-like nature of reality itself. In other words, the reason the universe is intelligible is because it is, at its core, an expression of intelligence. For Eddington, the most direct evidence of reality comes not from external measurements, but from our own inner experience. We know consciousness from the inside, while we only infer the nature of matter from observations and models. This led him to a bold conclusion. Consciousness is primary. Matter, energy, and space are secondary patterns within a larger mental reality. Eddington rejected the idea that the mind arises from dead, unconscious particles. Instead, he proposed that the universe is mind-like through and through. In his book, The Nature of the Physical World, 1928, he wrote, The stuff of the world is mind stuff. To him, the universe behaves more like a thought than a machine, suggesting that physics describes not objects existing independently of us, but relations of experience within a deeper unity. Eddington's vision went beyond philosophy into something almost mystical. He believed that all physical phenomena, from the curvature of space-time to the structure of atoms, arise from a single unified source, which he called the One. This One is not a distant personal deity, but the infinite mind in which the universe itself unfolds. 
Just as dreams take place within the mind of the dreamer, so the entire cosmos, Eddington suggested, exists within consciousness, not outside it. Time, space, and matter are patterns in the mind stuff of reality, temporary expressions of an underlying unity that transcends all dualities. This vision resonates with both Eastern philosophies, such as Advaita Vedanta and Western mystical traditions, where the individual mind is seen as a spark of the infinite. In Eddington's framework, we are not separate from the universe. We are waves in the same ocean of awareness, thoughts in the same eternal mind. Despite his mystical leanings, Eddington did not abandon science. He expanded it. He believed that scientific inquiry is a tool for uncovering patterns in the divine thought of the cosmos. But he warned against treating physics as the final authority on reality. The equations of relativity and quantum mechanics describe the structures of experience, not the ultimate essence behind them. Eddington compared physics to a map, precise, predictive, and immensely useful, but not the territory itself. The territory, for Eddington, is consciousness. The underlying reality science cannot fully measure. This perspective does not diminish science. It elevates it placing it within a larger framework where discovery becomes a dialogue between the human mind and the cosmic mind. In this way, Eddington's philosophy bridges the gap between empirical knowledge and spiritual wisdom, suggesting that the pursuit of science is, at its heart, a spiritual quest. Eddington's insights were far ahead of his time, and many of today's cutting-edge theories echo his vision. The renewed interest in panpsychism, the idea that consciousness pervades the universe, builds directly on the foundations he helped lay. Philosophers like David Chalmers and Philip Goff now argue, as Eddington did, that mind cannot be reduced to brain activity alone and that experience may be a fundamental property of nature. In quantum physics, experiments suggest that the observer plays a role in shaping outcomes. Aligning with Eddington's belief that consciousness participates in reality's unfolding, even in neuroscience, where the hard problem of consciousness remains unresolved, some researchers are exploring models where information, awareness, and matter are deeply interwoven. In many ways, Eddington anticipated a 21-century synthesis, one where science and spirituality converge in recognizing that mind is not an accidental byproduct of the universe. It is its foundation. Eddington's vision is not just a theory about physics, it's an invitation to see ourselves differently. If the universe is thought in the mind of the one, then consciousness is not confined to the small self. It is the essence of reality itself. To awaken to this truth is to dissolve the illusion of separation, recognizing that our awareness and the cosmos arise from the same source. This perspective invites reverence for life, a deeper sense of belonging, and a humility before the mystery we inhabit. It also transforms science into a collaborative act between the human and the infinite, an exploration of the patterns through which the one expresses itself. In Eddington's vision, every star we observe, every equation we solve, and every insight we gain is part of the cosmic mind becoming conscious of itself through us. Arthur Eddington's legacy transcends his role as a groundbreaking astrophysicist. While he helped confirm Einstein's relativity and shaped modern cosmology, his deeper contribution lies in his vision of a conscious universe. By proposing that matter is secondary and mind is primary, he offered a framework where science and spirituality meet, a vision in which the cosmos is not a machine, but a living thought within the infinite mind of the One. In this view, we are not isolated observers of a distant reality, but participants in its unfolding, expressions of the same consciousness that moves the stars and breathes through every living thing. To understand this is not only to understand the universe, it is to understand ourselves as integral to the mystery, threads of awareness woven into the fabric of the infinite. Eddington reminds us that when we look up at the night sky, we are in some profound sense gazing into our own deeper mind. 